So these are the two powerful things you should do around this time. If you want things to start working perfectly to prevent these problems, this is very, very important. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you are new here for the first time, you are so welcome. My name is Pamela. So in this channel, I share spiritual tips. Spiritual tips that will bless you greatly. That will help you to solve so many spiritual problems of your life. So you doing it rightly, with your faith, you will see things working perfectly. Just like a magic. So if you love spiritual tips, go ahead and subscribe. Turn on the bell so that whenever I upload videos, you get notified and come and watch. So like the title says, I'll be showing you two things you should do when you experience these things. This will go a long way in your life to help you greatly. The first thing is eating and dream. Anytime you see yourself eating and dream, this is the first thing you should have in mind. Eating and dream is witchcraft attack. Okay, just have that in mind that is witchcraft attack. And eating and dream is a way of evil ones feeding you spiritually, giving you spiritual food. In physical, it's going to yield problems. It will result in problems. It can result in poverty, in a, you know, backwardness. So this is a way of taking away what belongs to you spiritually. And you know spiritual controls physical. So whatever thing you experience in dream is very important. Whenever you eat in dream, you should take it seriously. Okay. Even if it's midnight, even if it's early morning. Okay. Anytime you have that dream. If you wake up in between your dream. Okay. This is what you have to do. You have to get water. Just keep water aside. Then you have to pray. Pray that God should forgive your iniquities. That he cancel every eating in dream. That whosoever that is feeding you spiritual food, that you reject it, that you reject it, that you refuse to be fed spiritually. To personalize it. That you, so, so, so person, personalize it by calling your name. That you refuse to eat in dream. That any kind of attack that this will result to, that you cancel it by the power in the blood of Jesus. So when you are done praying, then you have to use that water. Pour it in your mouth, like do not swallow it, just drink it, gargle with it, gargle with it, then you spit it out. Do this for three times, like put it in your mouth, gargle with it, spit it out, put it in your mouth again, gargle with it, spit it out, three times. So this is a way of rejecting that evil food. Remember, even if it's at midnight, you woke up at midnight between the dream, do this. So this is a way of spiritually Cancelling any evil that this will result to and no evil will be for you after this dream So another one is sex in dream. Okay intercourse with someone you don't know it can be someone you know Okay, anyhow they can use someone's face that you know to come as if is the person So any kind of this is not good at all. This is a marine attack This is like a spiritual spouse that can result a huge problem in real life it can make one not to conceive, even if you have children already in your real life. It can make things to be disorganized in your life. It can bring problems in marriage. It can bring delay in marriage. It can make some people not to settle down. It can bring financial attack. You'll be working hard. Things are not moving well for you. Everything will be scattered. So you have to pray. You that man or woman that always visits me in dream, having something with me in dream, that you separate yourself from this evil person, that you separate yourself from this strange man or woman, that whatsoever thing this may result to, that you break yourself free from this strange person. Whenever you have this kind of dream, do not just, you know, just relax like that or go back to bed. Do the needful, pray and cancel that dream. Do not joke with it. Another one is, you know, seeing yourself, maybe someone you know is dead. Maybe you yourself passed away. Do not joke with this dream, okay? This is what you have to do. Pray and cancel that dream at that particular time. Even if it's not you, pray and cancel this dream. Even if it's not you, it can be actually you. So it's good to cancel that dream. Break yourself free from any spirit of death. Wherever it's coming from, you don't care to know. That it come against every spirit of death. This is what you have to do. You have to get water. Add salt in that water. Allow that salt to dissolve. Pray with that water. Then you have to use it to have your bath first thing in the morning. If it's early morning that you have this dream, you have to also use that water to have your bath. As you're having your bath, be praying and nullifying any spirit of death that you come against it or that you destroy it. That you come against it from any of your loved one's life. That you don't want anybody to die. 
that anywhere is coming from, from any part of the world, that it cancel it, that it should not manifest and result like that. Pray finally, Lord, I ask that you send your fire from heaven to destroy any evil attack, to destroy any evil dreams, any evil nightmares that might manifest as a result of this dream. Any kind of problem that this will result to, that you cancel it, that you cancel it, and you bring yourself out from this problem. After praying like this, then you have to start thanking God. Remember, the first is eating in dream, or death, seeing someone that is dead, or yourself. Another one is having intercourse in dream. Any kind of dream generally, do this particular thing, okay? Say the right prayer. Say that prayer at that right time. Do not just relax and go to bed. Things will start happening in your life. That problem that wants to arise in real life will not manifest anymore. Try it and no evil power will be for you. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe to this channel. Share this video to everyone. Remain blessed as always. I will see you in my next video.